Also, spiral arms in galaxies uh, like our Milky Way, uh, uh, there's a probability that spiral arms rotating can make uh, shockwave patterns. Okay, protostars. What are protostars? Protostars are the pre-birth state of stars. In these protostars, hydrogen to helium fusion not yet ig ignited. The, the, the pressure and the temperature is not enough yet so that uh, 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 the hydrogen to helium starts fusing. And they are not so visible in uh, in optical or visible imaging but they are bright and and can be very seen in infrared can because as we said before infrared can show us the temperature because infrared is a heat spectrum So, as a protostar starts to contract, it starts the pressure to increase, and thus it starts to th its temperature uh, uh, increases till it goes to its uh, ignition of hydrogen. Uh, to fuse into helium and there it can go to the main sequence stars this is as we discussed it before this is the HR diagram and if you didn't if you don't know it you can go to the video named the family of stars it's uh, uh, four parts and it discusses the HR diagram in details Due to conservation of angular momentum, this leads to the formation of protostellar disks. Uh, so, what are the the, the protostar disks? When protostar, when a cloud starts to um, collide and collapse, a molecular cloud. Um, it keeps rotating around its center it's it rotates and this rotation causes a cloud or a disk to be formed around the 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 protostar and by time this disk starts to this this cloud starts to be like a disk and protostar disks can form planets and moons according to its density and mass. Also, disks of matter asserted onto the protostars often lead to the formation of jets directed outflows, bipolar outflows and this is called Her Herbig Harrow objects so this is the star and around it the the disks and this causes jets to flow out of the star or out of the pro pro um, protostar this is a section in the star and it's and the disk and the jets coming out of it and this is a photo, show an image showing this activity. So protostars start to move from their very basic form and uh, uh, components to start to collide and heat up, heat up, heat up until they go to their main sequence stage which is the birth of the star so 
this is the cloud the proto star is not yet it's not yet a star it's uh, but it has a mass uh, compared to the solar mass and then it starts to heat up and collide till it reaches the birth line where it then starts to go and go it to its uh, zero age it's like a baby in the embryo of his mother not yet coming out to the world he is being formed but he's not birthed yet so it's just the same idea then stars after being here they start to evolve and there is a, a lecture with with the name is stellar evolution how starts to start to evolute and move around the uh, the HR diagram nebulas has many 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 protostars and star formation especially at the places where it's very dense because this causes its uh, uh, collision and heating up but it cannot uh, the the forming stars cannot be seen in the visible spectrum but they can be seen in the uh, infrared range uh, infrared imaging So it's the same over different nebulas. You will find in the dark places lots of stars forming. 